I need people who can pick up the pain. Successful people are always survival testimonies. They weren't born successful. Success is a result of going through a furnace, being ripped apart, being criticized and attacked. But write this down. I need people who can pick up the pain. The fear of successful people are always survival testimonies. I want they to weren't talk born about this successful. That's what the Lord took Success about. is a result Check of going through a furnace, job. being ripped apart, that being is criticized, and attacked. But really, I that need people who can pick up the pain. Success is really an always reliable testimony. And if someone is not born successful, they can always take it back. Success is a result of going through a furnace, being ripped apart, being criticized, and attacked. But really, that is the testimony. You are as safe as how they feel at the time. And they can change the way they feel any time. And we don't believe that we deserve it. So I'm saying that we have to work through the challenges of life in learning how to begin to work to fortify ourselves. So no matter what you're facing, don't panic too long. Every test is temporary. You may panic for a minute, but I've come to tell you the panicking time is over now because you got to get some wisdom. Nothing is permanent except God and his promises. Everything else is changing. As a matter of fact, God's promises us that nothing will remain the same. He promised that. Now God doesn't change. His promise doesn't change. And here's one of his promises. He said in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, he says, To everything there is only a season. And to every purpose there is a time under heaven. In other words, everything that you experience is only seasonal. If you broke now, it's only a seasonal brokenness. Nothing, Jesus says, is forever. So if your company had to die, he's going to be resurrected. I've come to tell you, bury it, have a good funeral, and then get ready for a resurrection. Tell them, I'll be back. Why? Because everything is only for a season. Be not be surprised that family members and friends and people who should be there to encourage you and to motivate you, that they will try and discourage you. They're called a pyramid scheme, and they don't believe, they can't see this new you. Don't allow those negative naysayers, the people who are suffering from possibility blindness to stop you. Had I listened to them, I would not be standing here. Had I listened to them, I would not be traveling around the world living my dreams and not my fears. There's something in you that says yes to your life, yes to a greater future, yes, yes, yes. I am the captain of my ship. You want more. The dirt is necessary so you can prove yourself. Everything you see above ground that blossoms and grows and that's beautiful, it was underground one time. All them potatoes, collard greens, they was underground one time. Them apple trees, they was underground one time. So they had to prove themselves. See, you want to be successful, well then you got to prove yourself. You got to push through the dirt. You got to come up through here. You got to come out. Then you sprout. Then you become a tree. Next thing you know, you got fruit. So when you under stress, Take the stress for what it is. Don't get fooled. Don't just think, oh, man, Lord must not mean for it to be. What you talking about? How you think you're going to be a plant, a tree, a flower, and ain't no stress? How you going to get to be that without no dirt? When things fall apart, you got to find another way to solve them. See, the problem with humanity is we are creatures of habit. We have a habit of going to work. There are folks who get up, put their clothes on, forgot they got fired. We got a pattern of being broke. So we even get money, we spend it just to make sure we are broke. It's a pattern. Do you know why we all love a winner? Because deep in our DNA, in the heart of our spirit being, is the spirit of a creature that knows how to succeed. And when we see it, it makes us identify with it. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd 
rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it. Come hell or high water, I'm going after my destiny. Touch your neighbor and say, run! to what you were created to do. Success is the fulfillment of the purpose and the assignment for which you were created. You know, if a seed becomes a tree, it's still not successful. A seed is only successful when it becomes a fruit-bearing tree. It must bear fruit. And the fruit must have seed in it. A successful seed. In other words, if you only do half of your life, you're still not successful. If you only do some of what you're supposed to do, you're still not successful. Be supposed to die like the Apostle Paul. I have finished my cause. I have kept the faith. He says, I am like a drink offering. I've been poured out, he says. There's nothing left. That's success. Success is dying empty. Success is saying, I have done everything that I was sent here to do. Write this point down, please. Very important here. Success is not a pursuit problem is you are pursuing it if you try to pursue success it runs from you the bible actually says he who chases money money takes wings that's in the bible the more you run after it the more it runs from you why it doesn't happen that way as a matter of fact jesus said something that is so weird he said seek first the kingdom of god and his righteous laws and all of these things shall what be added unto you they'll be chasing you you attract things. Success is a result of obedience to laws. A car doesn't try to run well. Just follow the laws of the engine. Give it what it needs. And it runs well. So it is with life. You trying to be great, you'll never be great. You trying to be successful, you'll never be successful. You trying to be prosperous, it'll run from you. Success is a result of what? obedience to laws so success is first of all discovering what you were born to do what is your gifting and then forgetting competition and pursuing Super excited to be here this morning. My name is Pastor Mike. I welcome everybody to this wonderful business meeting. <clears throat> and I want to wish everybody in the house a Merry Christmas. Um, whether I'll say in arrears now. Today is the Boxing Day. Please don't box anybody. Boxing Day is a time to give gifts. It's not a day to box your wife or box your husband or box your neighbors. It is a day to share the box of gifts to others. That is the purpose of the Boxing Day. Because uh, some people don't really understand what it means. You know, they are just wondering what's the meaning of the Boxing Day. I mean, the Boxing Day. It's a time to share gifts. It's a time 
to actually felicitate and rejoice uh, with our loved ones, with our friends, share gifts, this period that is worth uh, Boxing Day is all about. So guys, um, for so many people in the house, this may be your first time on our leadership training. I want to say my name remains Pastor Mike. I know that we have some of our people still on holiday or probably some people don't know we are already here. Um, uh, so um, we're still going to continue. Um, like I said, even though we are in celebration uh, period, we are in this season of rejoicing and enjoyment. Um, I, I kept saying, my mentor taught me it's all about work and pleasure, guys. Work and pleasure. So um, it's, it's, it's always important to have a mentor so that you can understand the method. Uh, most of the time, many people become poor because they have poor habits. Many people becomes, become poor because they have poor habits, guys. Poor habits. They love to... They love pleasures more than pain. My mentor told me, move towards pain and move away from pleasure. That's how you are going to be a super success. If you move towards pain and you move away from pleasure, you are going to be super, super successful in life. So that's why sometimes when people choose pleasure, I choose pain. When people choose comfort, I choose discomfort. So uh, that's it. You must understand how this universe works. You must not love pleasure because I saw in my scripture, it said, he that loves pleasure will not be rich. So uh, the life of great achiever and super successful people, it's all about work and pleasure, guys. Work and pleasure. Putting in these hours into uh, uh, leadership training this morning, or the, the, the general presentation is not going to take away the chicken, it's not going to take away all the enjoyment, you know. It's about work and pleasure, guys. I mean, we want to be like Big Gate, that's the kind of life Big Gate live. You want to be like, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the people in the Hall of Fame of the richest people in the world, guys, they, 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 are, they are super hard workers, super hard workers. Like somebody said, it's not the hours that you use in life. It is what you put into the hours that determines where you get to in life. Read my lips, guys. It's not the hours that you use. It's not the hours that you use, that you live in life. But it is what you put into the hour that matters at the end of the day. Life is not just about duration. Life, it's all about donation, guys. So what do you give in, the, in your lifetime? What do you contribute? What do you bring on the table? Is what is going to determine at the end of the day who you become at the end of the day. That is it, guys. So you have to understand how, how things work. There are a lot of people now at this period, they just felt that, oh, Pastor Mike, we're supposed to be enjoying, we're not supposed to have Zoom. I mean, all this period, maybe we're supposed to have stopped this Zoom. It's supposed to be like we stopped this thing in New Year so that they can eat all the chicken, I, I, I go to parks, go to cinemas, visit the beach and do all the enjoyments just like that guys but guess what uh when you have a mentor you don't like the method so you don't like the method guys these guys travel they they go for 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 enjoyment they they, they are always with their laptop wherever they go near the beach to go and enjoy. They still go with their laptop, they go with their wife, they go with their children, they do whatever they do. I mean, but they still work, guys. They still work. That's, that's how it is. So we are here again, still working, just to put in one or two hours into our business. 
while we still eat the chicken, the turkey, the everything is still not bad, guys. So um, I'm live on YouTube. Uh, last week, we were not able to go live on YouTube. And I handle this all important topic, how you can actually leverage your mentor to achieve financial success. So I, I believe that some were not privileged to be part of us last week. Uh, why some people may not even get what we're talking about. Then I felt in my spirit, this is very, very important to be documented on YouTube. Of course, for not the benefit of the 61 people on the call, but for the benefit of the universe. Remember guys, our vision is to impact 1 million families financially, globally. Our vision is to impact 1 million family financially, globally. So it's not about the, 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 the people that are on the call, it's about the people that are in the universe. We want this to go uh, far, to still continue to impact the generation yet unborn. That's exactly what we are trying to do. Great leaders, true leaders leave legacy behind. So that's it, guys. So once again, my name is Pastor Mike. I'll begin to share this slide right now and begin to uh, share more light on this all important topic. I, I tell you today, I still wonder why those who fail fail. If we understand the principle of mentorship, I tell you guys, you will not even be a failure. If you can follow the lay down principles that God has put in place for all of us, I tell you, we are not supposed to have anybody failing. Number one, if you are humble and you can follow the principle, you will not fail. So that's it. Let's begin to roll right now. Um, the topic is how to leverage mentorship to achieve financial success. Let's roll, let's roll, guys. So I'm going to share the next, the, 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 the next slide. My name is Pastor Mike. Like I said, why am I qualified to share this with you? It is because I have produced results, guys. Because like I told you, don't listen to uh, people who don't have the result you want in your life. Only listen to the people who already have the results that you want in your life. That's how mentorship works. It's not about your emotional attachment to whoever. It's not about your emotional attachment to your husband, to your wife, to your father, to your mothers, to your uncles, to your knees, to your neighbors, to your friends. No, guys. All great and super success people are not always emotionally attached. They are not always emotionally attached. They are not feeling touchy people, guys. These guys are tough. I tell you, these guys are tough. And of course, they understand what it means to win. I mean, a, 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 a winner is a lone ranger. You know, I, I understood better when I discovered through my scripture that God does not call a crowd. God only called one man. It's usually one man that God used when he wanted to do something great. He, choose, he, he used to choose one man or he chooses one man. So you can go again and again and again, even from the story of Abraham, God called Abraham alone. Also, when it comes to Jesus, God called Jesus alone. So we are all leveraging what that one man does. So leadership is about one man, guys. Leadership is about one man that God gave a vision to. It's not about you being a leader. God show you a vision of what you can turn your life to be in the future and the lives of so many people and the generation yet on board. And then you have to go and call family meeting. Guys, no. You don't call family meeting. God gives a man a vision. And then you, you have to sit your wife down and begin to debate, should I do it, should I not do it? No, a leader does not behave that way. A leader does not show his doubt. A leader just show his belief. And they have super belief, guys. 
super believe. I believe bigger, better, greater. So when God showed me the vision, I moved, guys. I let down love two weeks before I told my wife. While I was on one month notice. Why? God only called Abraham alone. God called a leader. And when you become a leader, when you step into leadership, you become a lone ranger. A lone ranger. Do you know why? Those who cannot see your vision will misunderstand your decisions. And in most cases, leaders' decisions are misunderstood by others. But if that leader is not strong, he can never win. That's why God told Joshua, be strong and be courageous. Why? Because of the influence of the people surrounding you. If you are not a strong and courageous leader, you give up on your dream. You give up on your vision because of the people surrounding you, the influence of the people surrounding you, your wife, your husband, your uncle. No wonder, as uh, Jesus said, a prophet is never honored in his own town, in his own family. Then he says somewhere again, he says, the enemy of a man are, are the members of his household. Do you figure out what that means? It means that for you to shoot up, you have to be very, very strong and courageous. You must learn how to counter the influence of people that are your family. Most of the, the time, people fail in life because of the influence of family. People fail in life because of the influences of people that are around them. Even Jesus Christ could not perform miracles in his own town. Can you see that? But did he fulfill his, his dream and vision? Yes, guys, because he was stronger than their unbelief. He has super conviction. Super conviction. If you are a leader, you don't have strong belief. Your dream will never go through. I keep saying people, saying to people, if you keep your doubt, you will kill your dream. The more you keep your doubt, the more you kill your dream. So all those people around you, the doubters around you will always tell you, your dream won't work. Don't try it, don't do it, it is risky. Even it happened to David, the people that are surrounding him, his brother said, you can't fight Goliath. So guys, that is it. You must learn how these guys do their stuff and make sure you follow the principle. So when you are hearing success leaves clear, they are telling you that some people have gone through it before. Follow their method. If you don't do what winners do, you can't have what winners have. You must do what they do to have what they have. So, um, like I said, whatever I teach is what I do. Whatever I teach is what I do, guys. Listen to only the people who already have the result that you want in your life. Listen to only the people who already have the result that you want in your life. So I'm talking to you here this morning as the first African director in Cash FS and then Cash FS 100K Club member. So let's go, guys. Let's go. Now sharing the next slide, mentorship. All top athletes, sportsmen, even singers have a coach. Even Bill Gates has a mentor, Warren Buffett. A mentor is nothing more than a high performance coach. When the student is ready, the teacher is always there. 
When the student is ready, the teacher is always there. Find somebody that is where you will want to be in life. Find somebody that will want to be where you will want to be in life. So mentorship is the reason why most champions win. Whether you are looking at it from, from, from athletic point of view, sportsmen point of view, singers point of view, all these people, they, they have a coach. And I've also discovered the more, the, more, the, the more coachable you are, the more successful you will be. The more coachable and teachable that you are, the more successful that you will be. So mentorship is there for all champions. Whether you are talking about boxing, you are talking about wrestling, you are talking about football, you are talking about music, all these guys, they have a guide. They have someone that guides them in life. Even Jesus said he has a mentor. I don't do whatever I like. I always do what I see. My father, I never do. So most great people in life do what they see their mentors do. I mean, don't reinvent the wheel. Success leaves clue. The reason why you are doing try your luck in life is because you have nobody that you are seeing doing something. Like I told you that the game of success is a game of becoming a copycat. But guess what? You must learn how to copy the right cat. It now depends who you are copying. Are you copying the right cat? Let's go. The first method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler or a leader is to look at the people he has around him. The first method for estimating the intelligence the intelligence of a ruler or a leader is to look at the people he has around him. So you see, if you want me to know who you are, all I need to do is to know who you have, who is around you, who is your friend. If I know who your friend is, I can easily know who you are. Like someone said, show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. Simple. If I see that you are moving with a loser, I don't need to know you before. I will know that you are a loser. If I see you moving with winners without knowing you before, I will know that you are a winner. There are some people now, they are on our platform, they are in cash efforts, they will never stay where winners are. They will never be in this type of training. I keep saying it, the one who sweats in training bleeds less in war. The one who sweats in training bleeds less in war. But guess what? They will never, never pay attention to knowledge. They are not interested, but they are desiring to achieve what people pay attention to knowledge are achieving, they are desiring it. And they end up becoming a thorn in the flesh of even achievers. They are the one who will come and ask you some funny, funny questions after being in the business for three, six months, they still don't know Jack. And they expect to, 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 to succeed. No, no, knowledge brings profit. If you seek more and more and more knowledge, the more knowledgeable you are, the more profitable you will be. That's why someone said, learners are earners. The more you learn, the more you earn. That is the way it is, guys. But some people in this world don't pay attention to knowledge. They don't pay attention to knowledge. So that's it. The question you should be asking yourself right now at this point is this. Let me give you this exercise. Can you just go and write the names of 10 closest people to you? Write, make the list from one to 10. The 10 closest people to you. 
Then when you finish, put a remark in front of their name, rich or poor. The one that is rich, put rich. The one that is poor, put poor. And measure, just look at all of them. If you have more poor people among them than rich people, you are not likely to be rich. Like I said, if you are moving with five poor person, you are the next poor person in line. You can't beat God's principles. No, that's why he told Joshua, don't let this book of the Lord depart from you if you want to win. He said, that's how you will have good success and you will make your own way prosperous. So it is the principle that brings success. You have to apply this principle. If you don't, then you cannot. You have to create your own system. This is the system created by God, and God has put all these principles in place. So if you know that you are moving with people that are non-winners, you've got to change them. You simply cannot achieve success if you have losers as, as friends. You simply cannot achieve success if you have losers as, as friends. Like I said, this, this slide is, is, is what I want. Um, I want this slide to come towards the end. Okay. Let's 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 roll. So let's go to the next characteristics of a mentor now. What is the characteristics of a mentor? How do you get to choose a mentor? How do you get to identify a mentor? Number one, significantly wealthy, wealthier than you. Get someone significantly wealthier than you. That is the truth. There are some people when they want to make financial decisions, they will go to their husband or go to their wife. And both of them are poor but they are always emotionally attached people. Great achievers are not emotionally attached. They only follow principles. The question they will ask themselves, if they want to make an investment decision or financial decisions, they will not go to their wife or husband. They go to their mentor. They go to somebody who already has the results that they want. The person you are choosing as a mentor must be significantly wealthier than you. Number two, significantly more experienced than you. You have to look for experience because wisdom equals experience. I do tell some of my mentees or some of the people in my organization, I said you can buy a book, but you cannot buy experience. Pastor Mike has been in this industry for over 20 years. That's more than two decades. You can buy a book, but you cannot buy experience. So you need a mentor who have the experience in the same field. I mean, in the same field that you want to succeed. You can liberate that experience. Experience, guys. There are two ways you can learn your way to the top. You can learn it in a hard way by not learning from any mentor. That's a hard way. You are going to win and lose, win and lose, win and lose, win and lose, win and lose to gain your own experience to the top. And the second way is by choosing a mentor and leveraging the experience of the mentor. That's the easiest way guys to the top the easiest way but you have to be humble to do that and mentorship is not about age 
You can be older than, than your mentor. But note that your mentor is not your mate, guys. You must do somebody you are capable of respecting. That takes us to the third one, a person you really like and respect. Never, never choose somebody as a mentor that you are not willing to give respect to. It may be younger than you guys. My own mentor is younger than me, just 40 years, guys. But I follow him and I respect him. Re mentors don't need what you have. You need what he has. Your mentor does not need what you have. You are the one who needs what he, he has. You know, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of experiences when we started this cash up. There are some people who come and, and they, they give me one million ideas and suggestions and advices. They tell me, this is how you're supposed to do it. This is how you're supposed to do it. You don't give advice to your mentor. You listen to your mentor. You listen to your mentor. You don't get in front of your mentor and begin to advise him. No, the, 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 the great achievers only listen to people who already have the results that they want in their own life. They don't need your advice, guys. They don't need your advice. When I started leadership training early in the course of this cash affairs, some people get uh, uh, to tell me, you know, you know, we are doing this leadership. You don't allow us to talk. You're supposed to let us talk. I just laugh, guys. <laughs> I'm just doing what my mentor taught me. I don't talk when my mentor is talking. I only listen. And I'm just following the prototype. I'm not reinventing any wheel. I only do what I see my mentors do. I only do what I see my mentor do. So that's it. That's it. What my mentors is always doing is what I do. I only do what I see my mentors do. Listen. Number four, something else in common outside your field. Choose a mentor that has something else in common outside your field. Sometimes uh, the, the, the mentor we, 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 we choose might be as a result of you having the same belief or the same value system, the same hobby. Some people is, is because their mentors play golf, they also play golf and, and, and they have common interests. Might be that, common interests, guys. Number five, someone who has been where you want to be. That is the most important aspect of it. Someone who has been there, who has been where you want to be, who already has 
the results you want is very vital. I was telling people the other time that, look, yes, Pastor Mike is a mentor to those who choose to choose him as a mentor, guys. I don't lord myself over anybody. But I want you to know that there are some people closer to the mentor. You may not even be having closeness to the person I up there. But we have directors, we have managers, we have executives. The point is you are just a floor member. You are, you are, I mean, a floor member. You are just coming. You need a guide. It's not necessarily that you expect that, oh, Pastor Mike is my mentor and you are, you are expecting, okay, Pastor Mike should give you everything, give you all the, 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 the challenge with the, 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 the uh, mentors that are up there is the, 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 they have plenty of time. You know what I mean? But guess what? You can still hook up with somebody who is an executive or manager. You can still hook up with them. You still get benefit. The point is, if you are not an executive, you need someone who already have the results you want, who is already an executive to, to help you. Oh, you are not a manager. You need the experience of somebody who is already a manager in cash effect to help you. You are not yet a director. You must stay in connection to a director. Always call your mentor. Always discuss with your mentor. Always ask questions from your mentor. But you see, you must, you must, you must earn it, guys. They don't just give their time to everybody. Some people just want to engage me on the WhatsApp to, to begin to chat with them. They don't, they don't have use for their time, but you see, they want to engage you for one hour. They want to ask this question. You answer, they ask another, they answer, they, you answer, they ask another, and then the time is going, uh, you know, 30 minutes, one hour. That's what they want you to do. That is how they run their lives on social media, 24 hours. And they get angry when you don't use your time the way they use theirs. Because my own time adds value, guys. If you know the value of your one hour, you will not use one hour of your time to chat with somebody just asking you jam questions. Because some of those things that they, they are there to ask you, they can get it if they can humble themselves just to sit down one hour and take presentation. But guess what? They are not interested in your presentation. They have head knowledge. They just want to, the shortcut. I mean, some, some guys even tell me, I don't have time. When you say, have you attended a presentation? I don't have time. But they have time to give you jam questions to be answering. Because that's how they run their own lives. They want to engage you one hour. Look, guys, all great achievers know the worth of their one hour. They spend time. If you don't know, they spend their time. If my one hour is worth $10,000, I can't use $10,000 to chat with you. That's a waste. Because time is attached value to money. Now, if I know my worth per hour is $1,000 or $5,000, if I use that one hour to chat somebody, I have spent $5,000. To, to, to chat. So these are some of the things you need to factor in to, in order to manage your time. My mentor said, if the value of my one hour is $5,000, I cannot even use my one hour to iron my, 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 my dress. It will be more appropriate for me to give it out to a dry cleaner to use his time to do that and just pay the dry cleaner a thousand bucks than to just take iron and begin to iron my dress for one hour when the value of my one hour is worth $5,000. I can't drive my car, guys. If the value of my one hour is $5,000, $10,000, then if I drive my car from here to Ikeja to there, I'm wasting money. 
because I'm spending my time on something that I can pay somebody less amount to do for me. That is how these guys take decision. Sometimes when they have their own driver, you think they, they are proud. Don't ever do something that you can hire someone else to do for you at a lower value, at a lesser amount. Other things you need to know about mentorship, empty your cup. The only way to keep having plenty is to keep feeling empty. One of my mentors taught me, I always feel broke in my mindset. I always feel broke. The, no, the, 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 this guy is a mortal millionaire, but he's always feeling broke every day. When you are feeling that you ain't done anything yet, guys. You just want more because we are made for more. The reason why some people lose is that they don't go for more, more. They become executive, they become lukewarm. Somebody just buy a car or fall off for, then it sit on top of the world. You have to keep feeling empty, guys, if you want more. Listen only to your mentor. Stop listening to the little man. We have the little man. Pay no attention to what the critics say. Those are the naysayers, the little men. And the people naysayers, when you offer them the donut, they see only the hole in the donut. They don't get to see the donut. The little men, the naysayer, they only see negative inside opportunity. They see problems inside the opportunity. The little men, the little mind. No status has ever been erected for a critics. Guys, if you want to be a leader break all the rules break all the rules don't fit in don't conform break all the rules some people want you to go to school get good certificate look for a good job with good benefit guys break the rule when i resigned my father was not happy with me i don't care I told him, sir, this is my own life. I don't want to work for 30, 35 years, building another man's dream. Break all the rules because all great achievers are not emotionally attached people. I don't want to offend my daddy. My daddy say I should just continue to work where I'm working. You can't be a leader then. You can't be great achievers. Oh, my wife said I should not leave my job. Good for you guys. Both of you stay poverty level. Don't listen to little men. Break all the rules. Believe in him and his vision. You have to believe in your mentor and his vision. How can two minds work together except they are in agreement? I saw that it was not written like that in the scripture. I mean, the Holy Spirit just gave me that interpretation. How can two minds work together except they are in agreement? You can't work with your mentor if you don't have the same mindset with him. Oh, you don't want to be a millionaire? How can somebody who is a millionaire be your mentor? Create a personal and intimate relationship with him. Your gifts make room for you. Learn to give gifts to your mentor, guys, because they decide who they want to give their time to and who they don't want to give their time to. They add value to you, add value to them. Never ask your mentor for money, but only for ideas. Some people, they say, I want you to be my mentor. Then the next thing is that, please help me. I don't have money to join. No, 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 no. You don't ask your mentor for money, but only for ideas. Ideas bring unlimited money. Money is an idea. So instead of asking for money that you will spend the next hours is gone, ask for ideas that will give you unlimited money. 
follow him till the end. Failure is testing. I, I gave an instance of some people that were following me three, two years back when we were still learning forest as a forest coach. I was coaching them and so on, but we we're not having a headway. We we're just doing up and down, up and down, but they kept faithfulness. This guy followed me for two, three years, and, and my, my heart was bleaking. It's not because I'm a failure, but failure is testing. God has sometimes we test you, not because you don't have the right stuff, but like I said, you never. Uh, 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 lose until you quit. You never lose until you quit. So you have to follow him. You have, well, since you believe in him, you must follow your mentor till the end. Challenges comes to do what to shape us, not to change us. Challenges only come. To mold us, not to mar us. Do whatever you see your mentor doing. Do whatever you see your mentor doing. Always desire to be with him. I mean, you must always be in the presence of your mentor. If somebody is your mentor, you have to pull his, a phone call. You have to uh, talk with him. You have to ask ideas. You have to tell him your plan and ask him uh, what he feels. You have to... As you humble, 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 humble advice. You don't just say somebody is your mentor and for, for six months you have not even talked to the person on phone and is your mentor. No, that's not, it's, it, it's about relationship with him. That's why you see Jesus spent time with the 12, three and a half years. He spent more time with the disciples. Always desire to be with him. Your upline is not your mentor. I keep saying this. Some people will chat me up. They say, you know what? Hey, that my upline. I don't like him. He's not even telling me what I need. He's not giving me what I need. And they will be getting angry. And I will say, you yourself. If somebody under you ask you anything about cash affairs, can you provide information? The answer is no. I say, then you, you don't blame your mentor. It's just, in, so you know, there are two reasons why people come into cash service. Some people only want their money work for them. They just plug in with the money and they may, you may fall under them or by, 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 by uh, whatever. They, you might, you might, they might just be somebody that introduced you, but they are not the bull, they are not bulls. They are not business builder. They don't, they don't even know much. They can't even add value to you. They are not even a mentor. But you are looking up to them to do what you expect mentors to do for you. You don't need your upline. Your upline is not part of your organization. You are part of his organization. When I came into Cash FS, that was where it ended with my upline. It, it, she just signed me up. In fact, the person who even signed me up under my mentor was in UK because she gave out my number to him before she, he connected me in Nigeria. So when I was to sign up, he, he did the sign up with a, a link for me. So, but I didn't use that to now depend on the person, on, 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 on her and begin to, to, to expect her to guide me. To, no, I stepped into leadership. Look, if you want to change the game in your life, step into leadership. Buy into the vision. Take the bull by the horns. Run this business as business. Run it as business. As this is your company, PLC. You are the CEO. If you see this business as your business, you take 100% responsibility for it. You learn for your team. Leaders learn so they can lead. Leaders learn so that they can lead. You take full responsibility. You don't look up to upline. You attend more Zoom. You 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 you, you close to a mentor. You allow mentor to guide you. You attend as many Zoom, both corporate Zoom and 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 and, and, and other uh, team Zoom. You you what are you doing? You are digging for more information. 
you make more research to know more about the business. Why? The more you know, the more you earn. You are not depending on one upline that ain't going anywhere in life. There are some of you, the person you call upline is not even dreaming to be a millionaire. You want to be a millionaire and you are depending on that person. Do you know that some people are in cash affairs who started with Pastor Mike with $300? They are still on $300. I'm a humble owner of 100,000 US dollars portfolio that I grew $300 within eight calendar months to 100,000 US dollars. I did that before my upline. Supposing I was depending on her for guide for, for everything, I wouldn't have eat. Look, I became the first African director before my upline. I became the first 100K club member before my upline. Do you know why? Our dreams are not the same and we don't want to go on the same speed. I don't depend on somebody that is not even on the same frequency with me. Overtaking is allowed. She was a manager, I was a director. I overtook her. So that, that is how it is. How big is your dream? How big is your vision? You want to depend on somebody who ain't going anywhere in life and, and, and then they drag you down. They slow you down. God told Abraham, I'm going to give to you as far as you can see. If you see the nice person who have the result in your organization, you have seen the last person that is high up there. <clears throat> I've already explained this. You want to get value from Pastor Mike? Where well, I have some people that are managers that, that are close to Pastor Mike. They got value from me. You can also draw virtue from them. The anointing flow from the top down. You are still not an executive. Look for an executive before you are looking for a director. I mentor everybody. I can still be your mentor. But what I'm saying is that stay close to the next rank to you. You might, that person might even give you more time. Because what I tell people is that once you fight your way to executive, boom, and you become executive, you still have to come down to the level of the ace. Do you know why? You are going to have two A's to come to executive for you to rank manager. Once you eat manager, you come back to the executive and choose two executive you will work with to rank manager. Boom, you become a director. You become a director, you come down to the level of the, of the, of the manager and work with three people to come to director for you to hit president. That's how it works. Jesus came down to the earth for him to be able to get us up to heaven. So if you are a leader, you must learn how to also come down to the level of the people that are below you so you can help them come up. Look, if they don't come up, it does mean that you are saying you are not promotable. If you can't bring people down up, then you cannot go up. That's how it was, guys. Words are not enough to validate your mentorship, but your work and result. Don't follow people who will just be telling you how to do it. But they will not be showing you how to do it. Leadership is not telling them. It is showing them by taking the lead. Leadership is showing them by taking the lead. You are showing them the example. That's why I say leadership is not for show off, but for, but, 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 but for showing up. I mean, you are a leader, boom, you eat executive. You are a leader, boom, you eat manager. You are a leader, boom, you eat director. You show up not show off. Mentorship is about coming to their level to bring them to your level. I've already mentioned that. Call to action. 
choose for yourself a mentor. Sorry. There is a slide I want to bring up for that. So the, here is the conclusion before I go to call for action. You simply cannot achieve success if you have losers as friends. You simply cannot achieve success if you have losers as friends. You don't have a mentor, you are likely not to have the method. So you are, you are likely not to be a winner. <clears throat> you are who you hang around with, and that's how you will be measured. You are who you hang around with, and that's how you will be measured. That's how you will be measured. You are who you hang around with, and that is how you will be measured. Okay. So choose for yourself a mentor. Stop reinventing the wheel. Success leaves clue. Remain humble. Never cross humility line, no matter who you become. Be humble. Never you cross humility line, no matter who you become. Always ensure that you choose for yourself a mentor. You know, I said something. I discovered that most failures don't ever use the word my mentor. When you see somebody that is not a winner, go and find out. They never use the word my mentor. They have no mentors. And that's why they, 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 they have no method. So, and they, they end up becoming a loser. They end up being a loser. They have no mentor and they lack methods and they are not winners. They are not winners. Thank you guys. All right, that's all I have. Please, if you have any question at all, kindly raise your hand. If you have any question or contribution, can you raise your hand? Yeah, question, please. I don't want any contribution or question outside the leadership training. Please, outside the leadership training. I don't want anything outside the leadership training. Don't come and bring uh, things like uh, authenticator or whatever. No, 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 no. Leadership is the focus here. We can ask questions, you can make contribution. So, uh, Olukai Ode, please unmute yourself. Olukai Ode, please unmute yourself. Joseph. Pastor Joseph. Okay, Ruth, please unmute yourself. Okay. Um, good, good morning, sir. Good morning, everybody. This is, is um this is using Ruth. Okay. Yeah, I I was the one that wrote to you earlier. My 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 battery went down, so I have to I have to switch over to my wife's phone. Mm. Now, thank you so very much, sir, for all that you have shared with us this morning. I really appreciate it. God bless you, sir. My question is this: um, I'm actually I'm pretty new. Yeah, I'm still trying to understand the the understand what uh, cash ethics is indeed all about. So, as to know the next action to take. I haven't said that, that I want to find out if there is 
any on-site training and where I can get it? Yeah, that, that, that just, that's just my simple question. If there's any on-site training and how I can locate the place at the time and, and all of that. So that's my question, sir. Yeah, you need to explain what you mean by on-site training, sir. Or, um, I I mean, aside aside the Zoom call, if, aside the Zoom call, is there any is there a physical, physical venue where, where, yeah, we, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, that that one will be next year. It's just because of the season we we stop the physical meeting till next year. So we are doing all our activity till we oh, enter okay, January. Okay, sir. By the time we enter January, oh. we start our uh, physical meeting back. All right, all right, all right, sir. Yeah. All right, sir. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, I have one Ebeniza here. Ebeniza, please unmute yourself. Hello, sir. Yeah, Ebeniza, let's go. Yes, sir. Um, I joined the the meeting halfway because I was somewhere else doing a uh, one uh, conference as well. So uh, this is my first time of joining the leadership platform. So I want to confirm what is really required of me to, to move to the second level because I'm not, am I to look for people or those that I will register or stuff like that? So I want to know, sir. No, I, I don't understand. Are you a member? Yes, I'm a member. Yeah, you, if you remember, you just have the understanding of cash FS system. Like what we are doing in this leadership training is to groom entrepreneurs. You know that in, in cash FS, the, 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 there is business within the business. There are a lot yes. of people who don't know that there is business within this business. Like me now, I'm a businessman running cash FS business. But some people don't know that they can build a business leveraging cash FS system. They just think that, oh, cash FS, they say they are trading for people that just want extra income. Then they, 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 they buy a package and they are happy that they are trading for them. That's all. That's all what they, they see. But the company has the bear side and the bull side. The bull are the business people within cash FS. They are the people leveraging cash FS system and creating business for themselves inside this uh, cash FS system. So they are the one that this training is meant for. Like I, I, I'm, I'm still uh, going to put together a, a mentorship um, a program. Like I said, I want to personally mentor 50 people in 2021. And these 50 people, it's not just a, 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 a chicken hearted people I want to mentor. <laughs> I want to mentor people who, 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 who want real business. The people who wants to be entrepreneurs. People wants to be business minded. You know, it's not just about extra income. Like I said, you can see this business as, a, a, as an extra income business. And you can see this business as a multi-million dollars business. Whichever way you see it is what the business will give to you. I thank God for Cash FS today. Extra income people are make, getting extra income because everyone wins. So those who join Cash FS just to get extra income, every one of them are making money. And those who also want to join Cash FS business because they want to create a business for themselves in their environment. They are entrepreneurs and they are business-minded people. They are also there to be trained, to become a bull, to build a multi-million dollars for themselves by leveraging this, this. We are here to train such people as well. Because the truth is that if we don't have, take the business side and I go all out, to share this opportunity to bring as many people through the advert out with so many people who are the extra income, even benefits. So it is the, the business builder that helps the extra income also to benefit, to come into the system. So I am particular 
about the people who are interested in building a business. I'm not interested in the extra income minded people. I'm interested in business minded people. And those are the people this leadership training is meant for. And they are the people that the, the special mentorship program that we are still going to uh, 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 bring up once we enter next year now, we are going to have a session with those people and we'll be able to carefully select 50 people that we're, I'm going to personally mentor. So, so, so that's it, sir. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. <clears throat> Thank you very so, much, sir. I'm sorry to conclude uh, your question. What mm -hmm. I actually want to uh, uh, summarize with is that you are the one who will now determine which one you want. It's not just to say, oh, what am I not supposed to do now? Am I supposed to go and uh, uh, bring in people? You know that bringing people is not a compulsion in cash affairs. It is an option. So somebody can be in cash affairs and he doesn't want to bring people. Yes, he can make money by being plugging in with his own money to get extra income. He can focus on his job. He can focus on his, on his business. But he wants to benefit from average of 10% per week, 30% per month that cash is, is giving. So he just wants to leverage his money. He doesn't have time. He, he's not interested in any other thing outside leveraging, making his money work for him. And then the other side is the business. Now, what I'm saying is that it's you who must know what to want. Once you now choose what to want, you now say, oh, Pastor Mike, I want to be a bull. I want to be a business builder. I want to be an entrepreneur. Then I can now guide you appropriately. And that's why I'm, I'm having this leadership training to guide the, the, the business people. Okay, okay sir. Thank yeah. you very much, sir. Let me now request <clears throat> that uh, you you are going to uh, that, uh, let me request that you humbly add me to your to your membership mentorship class. My although I joined last week or so two weeks ago, and uh, my so what is required of my registration, sir? We are going to get back to you. Like I said, we have criteria for choosing those that will be chosen, but definitely we are going to reach out to everybody. So we have to, we have criteria that we will use to to choose those people. Like I want you to know, I mentor everybody in my organization through this uh, leadership training we hold 9:30 a.m. every Saturday. But for the special people, there are criteria that we we'll look at. The, the person they are and some other things, you know. So to choose is not just to enlist. We are not just enlisting. We are we are we are also uh, going to be lose, looking at those people and and understand their dream, their vision, and and what they want and so on, and see if they can actually uh, align to uh, what uh, we also want to achieve. So no problem. We are going to as long as you are part of the system, you will you will you will definitely know when we are going to um, start uh, choosing those people, and you can just be a part of it. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I I want to know the actual time. The the tomorrow lesson will be starting, sir. It's 3 p.m. Presentation tomorrow is 3 p.m. No, it, my, my own is technical issue that I want to learn. It, it's 6 p.m. Once you are on WhatsApp, we share the, the schedule. You will always see the schedule every day. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, God first. God first. Please unmute yourself. God first. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Yes, sir. Um, my question, I think, is more or less been answered. Is like is about the mentorship uh, you mentioned about it. I attended a meeting last week, but unfortunately, my battery went down. I couldn't get what it is to be a part of those that you want to mentor because I'm interested in being one of your mentees. Yeah, there is no problem, sir. I I believe you are already on the WhatsApp. Of course, yes, sir. 
Uh -huh. So once we we are we are going to make a move, we will, we will uh, share information on that WhatsApp. You know, so you will know uh, how we are going to go about. Like I said, we have to get to know you who you are, and ask okay. some few questions so that we help us to actually choose whoever that we want. We don't want just want to uh, enlist uh, everybody because there are, there are certain things that needed to be in place. Because it's about commitment. It's about commitment. It's about service. Yeah, it's yeah. about service. So we're going to look at all that um, uh, okay, to, to, to just, just keep in touch since you are on the WhatsApp and make right. sure you follow all what we are doing. Thank okay, you, sir. Thank you. Thanks very much, sir. God bless yeah. you, sir. Amen. Thank you. Mr. Rotimi, can you unmute yourself? Yes, uh, God bless you, sir. We really appreciate your much effort that you are passing to us to become a better person. I just Thank get you, a clue this morning as you are speaking, sir. Actually, this has been a, a dream aspect of me for a while now. And you made mention of it that even to become an executive, it's not just looking at your mentor. We should look at somebody who has become an executive and then play along with them. Now, my question is, how do we relate with these people? For example, I only have one uh, uplink that I link to. So every other person that become an executive, I may not have an idea of them except when they are being advised sometimes on the platform. So mm. what exactly vision do we support to have to relate with them? That is my question, sir. Okay, okay. For you, for you to know who is a, an executive on your line. Yes, sir. Okay, um, I think what you do, if you want to, I, I know the executive or managers that are on your line, what you do is just reach out to me. If I have your username, I'll be able to look at the tree of where you belong and then pass the phone number of the person to you so that you can actually be able to start relating with that person. You know. Okay. Yeah, okay. That, that's the way it is. That's, that is very good, sir. I really appreciate that idea. Yeah, yeah. I Thank think you. that is important. Everyone should trace their tree to know, okay, who is the next ranking person that I can always reach out to? You know, this thing is about hunger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, a, sir. A, it's, yeah, thank you, Mr. Rotin. Yes, All right, Jonathan, please submit yourself. Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan, please submit yourself. Jonathan, please submit yourself. Touch your screen and go to the audio, audio device by the left. You didn't get it. Adebayo Joseph. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Jonathan, just Thank one minute. You. OK, sir. Go on, go on. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, thank, uh, thank you, sir. 
Yes. Thank you, sir. We thanks for your uh, leadership quality. We have been benefiting a lot from your wealth of experience. Sir, as a, a mentor, the mentee should not, uh, according to what we have heard or read, the, the mentee should not give uh, advice. That is right. But uh, I want to ask a question, sir. Is it possible to make a humble suggestion with wisdom? Thank you, yeah. sir. That's yeah. the question. Yeah, leaders are listeners. Yes, sir. Leaders are, are listeners. They, they, yes, they, it's, not, it's not that they are not open to suggestions. They are. They are. But what happens is that when they hear suggestions, they, they, they just decide what is best for the team. Oh, yes. You understand? I uh -huh. yes, so, I I, like maybe uh, you are having a, a meeting, you are, want to do something, and you are with your leaders. I mean, okay. we had a meeting in Lagos Sheraton Hotel uh, yes, with sir. my leaders, and we, we allow people to share their mind, their suggestion. Okay. Now, but at the end of the day, a leader will look at everything and decides what is best for everyone. Yes. So what I just want people to know is that sometimes we want to give a suggestion and we are expecting that if the leader is not doing what you, 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 you suggestion you give, it's like he's not listening to advice. No, 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 no. Uh, so but that leader, I mean, that leader, a, a leader is not there to listen to your advice. He just wants your suggestion. You know, yeah. I, I learned from the leadership of the Lord Jesus. He, he said, uh, uh, he asked his disciples some things. And the Bible said, and he knows what he will do in his own mind. Oh, yes. And he knows what he will do in his own mind. But he asked for suggestion. But he knows what he will do in his own mind. So a leader is someone who knows what he will do in his own mind, but he still allows people to bring suggestions. But like we are doing special leadership training now, what I'm just saying is that it's a, it's a, it's a platform to impact. It's yeah. not a platform to uh, use and just be uh, doing democracy or, you know, no, no. Like we have a training that time. Yeah, we, we, what, we, what brought us together is, we are, we are deliberating on the way forward for next year. So it's, it's a deliberation meeting. So that's what I mean. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so Jonathan, let's have you. Jonathan. Jonathan. I don't think uh, Jonathan is with us at all. All right, uh, let me bring uh, this last uh, person here before I allow Mr. Sam to also contribute. Techno, can you uh, unmute Techno? Hello? Yeah, let's have Hello? Sir. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning, yeah, sir. Yeah, good morning, sir. Okay, uh, I thank you for your... Uh, the knowledge you want to impart in us at this leadership program. I thank you. Hello? Yeah, we are hearing you just right Okay, us, okay. Sir. Yeah. Uh, my question is that, like, somebody asks a question, you know, he said, How can he start as a he asked him whether he's a registered. He said yes, but he said, uh, like as we are, you know, saying concerning somebody, some people may want to climb, or let their money work for them, like somebody being a beer and want to, you know, become a bull from there. And uh, I want to ask. I'm a new registered member. I attend the, you know, the Zoom meeting, and today is my first time of this. Uh, leadership program, you know, I would like to move forward because I'm interested in such a this thing to move forward, like what he said. Then how can somebody move, you know, like this beer, you know, without his money working for them? Can you help, you know, 
so that I will understand it better, or <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean by move, move, moving forward? You see, the most important thing in life is knowing what you want. It. I have discovered that a lot of people fail on this edge simply because they don't know what they want. So if you know what you want, it is easier for someone to guide you. That's why I, 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 I laid, laid it on the table for the, the, the person that asked the question before. Oh, I want to be a business builder. I want to be a book. That makes it easier now to, to know where to pick it off uh, uh, from and now be, uh, begin to guide you. You are in cash yeah, okay. first, or you want to be a bull, right? Is that what you are saying? Yeah. Yes, yes, I want to be a bull. That is, I want to be a business as what you are saying. I want to, you know, move forward. I just want to be like you. Just like that, so that you understand yeah. it better. There, there is no problem. If you want to yeah. be, you see, I, one thing I believe is that before we see cash effects, some of us have something we are doing. But yeah. if you now see cash effects and you see that cash effects is a good business, that you can also even build a business inside. You know, because the most important thing about life is how to fulfill your life's dream. It's not exactly. about what you do. It's about your dream. Like uh, 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 our mentors always tell us, you can change the method. You can change the strategy, but you must never change your dream. Yes, yes. You must never change your dream. Now, if your dream in life is to be a millionaire, you must not be rigid as to what you use to become a millionaire. You must not be rigid. The problem with so many people is that they, they have the dream, but they are rigid about the method. I, I mean, I hope you are getting what I'm saying. Yes, 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 I'm getting what you said. Let me use myself as an example. My, 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 my dream, my, my goal in life is to achieve financial freedom. Now, once I set that dream and that goal, it must be flexible about the means I used to achieve it. Not that I say, oh, I'm doing something now. What I am doing cannot make me a millionaire. And yet, I have a dream to be a millionaire. I have tried and tried and tried and tried that thing. Now, I see something that can easily make me to become a millionaire. But I lack the, 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 the knowledge to realize that I must be flexible about the method but I must never change my dream. But what people used to do is this. They will have a dream to be a millionaire. Then they will now decide what they want to do. Maybe what they are now doing is not making them a millionaire. Do you know what they do? They change the dream to adjust to what they are doing and start living a low life. So yeah, you don't yeah, change yeah. the dream. You only change the plan. You change the plan. So if you see something that can make you to achieve your dream of becoming a millionaire, you take it serious. You leverage this. Okay, okay, okay. So I have another thing, um, like, are you hearing? Another thing is that, uh, uh, yeah, like uh, since I registered, um, I have, you know, gone through the system and know how the system works, as he said, like, you know, the person asks, I'm trying to, you know, introduce and bring some people, and uh, I have told many people concerning this, uh, you know, cash first of uh, things and everything, you know. But uh, the confusion is there that uh, they want to see evidence. Are you understanding me? So <laughs> sometimes, uh, <laughs> so you know, me, uh, I say no problem because I just started. So I need their help and I, I, yeah, I just want, I need their help. You, 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 I you want know, to move sir, forward. You, you know what I yeah. will tell you? Yeah. Most of the time I, I hear this, they want to see evidence, but Cash FS is giving us evidence. We thank God that we're in a business that is even given, giving you evidence without doing anything. If you tell me now that you have registered, it's a matter of, 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 of this. You start seeing trading in your back office done. 
without you doing anything. So those who always say that they want to see evidence, you, you have evidence here without lifting a finger. Cash FS is the living profit now for over 15 months, every day, without any of us, apart from the bull side. They have delivered profit every day. So those who use excuse of uh, the reason why I cannot build a business because people want to see evidence. Now there is evidence and they are still not able to do anything. What I just want you to know is that it is not about evidence. It's about you. Yeah, when you yeah, are looking like for, me. when yes. you are thinking that the reason why you are not performing is something that is external, it is completely wrong. The reason why you are not performing or getting result is as a result of internal, internal problem. And that internal problem is inside of your mind. It's not anything outside. I started cash event without okay. any, any, any result. And yet I build it from zero until when I begin to see the result and then now begin to also talk result. What will work for you first is your belief. And whether or not you want to allow other people's belief to override your own belief. For some of us, what we will do is that when we see something that will change our life and we go out to share it with others, then those people will, will bring their negative mind. Then the next thing is that their negative mind kill your own belief. That's what is happening. My own belief was so strong when I started without any evidence, I broke through. Why? Because I will not listen to any negative talkers. Successful people have zero tolerance for negative and negative people. Do you know why somebody said if you take your own dream casually, you will become a casualty in life? So most of the time, the problem is not anything outside. It's not about whether they want to see results. I've shared on this platform, I have people who are my friends who are poor then. They saw me from zero to become a millionaire, and yet they still never join what I do. They are still suffering. JB, you say they want to see results. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. So it's not results. Okay, even in okay. my church today, I bring new cars in every day. And some of them even know that I'm, 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 I'm doing cash efforts. Some of them even know that I'm changing people's lives outside. And yet, it still, it, it still does not spark any fire inside them. They stay with their poverty life. So it's not about your result. It's yeah. about you. Yeah. Because yes, the people around about, you, they don't, yes. they, they are not the dreamers. They are not going anywhere. It's about you. It's not about them. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, now, I, because I told you I want to move forward to be a, a, a boon, then I need your help, sir. No problem. Just follow what we are doing. We are here to help everybody. So what you yes. need first what you need first is a desire. Since you have a desire that you want to change, then you are yes. already, uh, 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 the, the job is half done because the desire must first come from you. Once you have that desire, then I think it's easier. It's easier for the, for the job to, 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 to get done. So just follow what we are doing so that you will know when we will make the next move and then you can be a part of what we are doing. Thank you. Okay, okay sir. Okay, thank you, sir. So, oh, look at you. Are you ready to talk to us now? Before I close this meeting. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah. God bless you, sir. Amen. I really appreciate all you doing, and I pray that Lord will continue to strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen. I have a challenge. The challenge is that I've been listening to you since uh, July. And I've registered. You now, say the challenge is what? The challenge, the challenge is what? I have. Uh, the I want to explain. The challenge I have is that the phone I was using got packed up. 
So Mr. when I got uh, another Pastor phone, Olukayo, I said I want only yeah. questions and contribution that has to do with the leadership. Anything outside that is not for this Zoom. We have Zoom for everything. Don't bring any other thing to leadership training. If what you want to discuss is not about this leadership, please wait until we have that Zoom. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank sir. you, sir. Yeah. Now, Mr. Sam, can you quickly make your contribution, sir? All right. Thank you very much, Pastor Mike, for um, giving me the opportunity. And um, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening, depending on where you're where you're um, listening to us from. I know this is a global call. Uh, with people listening from all over the world. However, I'm following the training this afternoon. I just want to buttress some few points, um, following um, reactions and what people are actually saying. I, I just think I just need to get some points clear. Um, I hear people talking about um, mentorship, everybody um, looking for mentor, which is quite nice. But I think it's also important that we listen to what Pastor Mike said about mentorship. Um, he mentioned in one of those slides that you look for a mentor that has the result you want. So what that tells me is that you need, you possibly will need more than one mentor in life. So if you are looking for, you can possibly, even in cash effects, there is a possibility that you can have more than one mentor. So it mustn't necessarily, that um, I see stand to be corrected though by Pastor Mike, if, I, if I'm wrong, if, but, but I'm just trying to lay down my opinion on how I understand it. Now, you might have an upliner who might not necessarily be a leader. In fact, um, an executive, even by cash effect standard, is just like an intro. You really haven't even, uh, the real executive, the real leadership really begins in cash effects from what I heard from my understanding from um, um, some other seminars I've also attended in Cash Effects actually begins from manager. That is when you can actually say, yes, I'm truly a leader. You know, once you're executive, you're just more like, you're just showing the will. You know, that doesn't mean that you can, you're can you actually a leader because somebody who has the will without can actually register and become an executive, which is wealth. So if I have $10,000 now, I can register myself, my wife, my daughter, my son, and spread that $10,000, make them my food. And I become an executive, possible. Has that made me a leader? Of course, no, but I'm an executive. You know, so the leadership position actually comes in. It's when you get to the managerial position that you begin to see that it, it, it might not be so easy for you to um, do it all alone. And that's where now Pastor Mike begins to tell you that if you're an executive, that explains is that you need the ace traders as well to actually push you up higher. If you must actually go, and that's why the main leadership actually begins when you when you are um, uh, 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 when you are a manager. So when you are looking for a mentor, particularly at this stage, you could have a mentor that is that will give you the result you need. What I mean is, you are having technical issues in cash effects. We have a technical team. I don't know the position of that person that anchors the technical team. That person can become your mentor technically, such that should you have any challenge while you're doing your cash effects business, you have a mentor that you can actually, by snap of finger, you call on him to help you technically. Your upline or your manager or your executive that is ahead of you might not have the way without to actually handle technical issues. But someone who is just an ace trader, because some of these things, you get very efficient in them, um, especially if you're very conversant with the IT world, you know, so a lot of the things that are going on in the cash effect back office becomes a bit clearer to you. It's easier for you to handle than someone who is just a, um, an office clerk or something who doesn't have so, those requisite IT, IT skills. So uh, what, the point I'm just trying to make here is the fact that looking for a mentor, Pastor Mike told us that the person has to have the result you want. So you ask yourself, what result am I looking for? I want to learn how to set up my technical... Um, cash effects um, um, technicalities, you can get a mentor in that, in that regard. Now, I want to learn how to do my marketing. I want to learn how, how to talk. Pastor Mark is doing, has provided us, provided us an adequate platform. And someone um, is also asking, how do I become, that's, that's the next point, how do I become like Pastor Mark? We've also failed to listen to him when he, when he told us here that he has 
over 20 years experience in the industry. This 20 years experience is actually after he left Dunlop. I, I tried to listen to him, except if I heard him wrong. But what I understand is that he has experience in network marketing well over 20 years before he saw cash effects. And some of us are so eager that we want to become like Pastor Mike, even though we don't even have any experience in network marketing. And we want to just, um, because he's made um, 100K eight months, everybody is looking to become like Pastor Mike overnight. You want, you want him to be your mentor, to give you 100K, to fall from the blues. He said he wants 50 guys that will be in the list. I don't know what the criteria is going to be, but I'm sure that it, it, it's going to be, it should be something a bit stringent. But however, I think it actually starts from you yourself. You know, you are looking for a mentor in Pastor Mike. You don't even attend um, regular Zoom meetings for the fact that you attended once. You think you've gotten enough and you want to become like Pastor Mike. And if you have heard him where he has explained some of the things, some of, there was a lecture I was uh, present some time ago, so about a month or two months ago, where he gave us his daily routine. It means that this man really manages to sleep. As he's finishing this meeting in the morning, he, he begins to attend to meals and registration and all that. Maybe he gets a one hour or two hours rest. He goes into, before you know it, the evening uh, Zoom meeting is off. He starts all over again. So he does it every day, 24 hours. But yet, we just attended the meeting once. We got registered. And we are eager to be like Pastor Mike. It ain't going to work. I don't know. It, it won't work. It doesn't work that way. Now, from what I've heard from those that have, haven't done net, network marketing before, but um, from the hypothesis, the projections that I've heard from cash effects, you need, if you haven't done network marketing before, you need to give yourself about three, four years for you to actually attain the level of experience and expertise that you need and the comfort you actually need to actually be placed where you should be. So you don't just think that the experience of over 20 years of Pastor Mike can be impacted on you in eight months like he's done it so that by the time you join him um, um, today, next day you want to be like 100K club. I don't, that's no magic about that. It's not possible. He did that because he has a requisite experience that he's, he's bringing into bear here. So I'm employing us. I have a life experience I can share with you. I, I, I joined just a couple of weeks back. Now, um, we are beginning to get some dividend here. And my wife, who, she was a bit laid back when I was going into this, but now she's also one of my major marketers as well. She was talking to one of her friends and um, um, the lady was talking about how challenging things is and how um, investments are actually failing and all that, the frustration for the banks and all those things. And she got telling her that, hey, come on, you mean you're still looking for where to invest? I think for me, I, I've even I actually gone past that. There is um, this business that my husband brought that we actually have been doing. In fact, that the minimum we get every week now is about uh, $100, which if she convert, if we convert it, we get like over 40000 every every week. So we are more like we don't even um, look for, um, we can't be shouting. I said there's a major project that befalls us, you know, but I mean, for daily sustenance, glory be to God that that actually comes in. The person, say, the person went, wow, you mean that's possible? You know, and she said, yes, please, can you attend the lecture? I told her because anybody that you're bringing, make sure that they attend the lecture. And the lady actually spent time and attended the lecture. Hey, but guys, you know, the funny thing now is the fact that this lady, it looks like, and this is actually the challenge that we're all having. We're obsessed by the challenge we're having. And that takes me to what the message that we heard there. The message, the training in this class, for me, I don't know about you, but for me, it's not just about what Pastor Mike says. There is a message that he played there. I listened to well over 10 minutes before he started the lectures. One of the things that that Pastor T.J. said there was that you don't pursue success. Success is what you become. That message is heavy. I like listening to it every day before the, before the lectures comes on. Now, where I'm going is that this lady, I think she got obsessed by what my wife showed her and told her about. She attended the classes, and the next thing, she registered with $300 about um, just about two weeks ago. Now, um, my wife was telling me two days ago that the lady was so disappointed. What happened? That she's trying to withdraw her $40, but she couldn't get it. She, she, she hasn't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> my wife went, wow, $40, you mean? <laughs> you just registered two weeks ago with, with, with but I've been sharing these results to you. He attended the lecture. So if I told you that from $300, that was about 150, uh, 50, 
thousand or there about plus or minus that I will give you forty forty dollars within one week and you'll accept it. What wouldn't you even say that I'm I'm doing magic? I'm talking about accounts there yeah, that that we've grown over time and you are you're talking about three hundred dollars. It's not possible. This is, you are showing what is what is being traded for you every day. So this lady, even though she attended the lectures for complete hours and she registered, it's obviously clear that she was obsessed by what she was having in her mind, which is just how quickly she can make the money. And it doesn't work that way. And that's actually the same thing that is happening to us here. So we don't have to wait and, and begin to um, pursue success. TDJ says, you don't chase success. You don't chase money. Because when you chase them, they keep running away. Success mm -hmm. is what you become. So you walk towards it. It's going to take you some while. I'm not there yet. I'm not. I'm not speaking that I've done. I just joined um, Cash Thirty Five. For a matter of fact, I joined like, on the third of September for real, and I spent well over a month as a bear where I was trying to understand the whole system before I just started uh, making moves. Just not quite long, you know. So um, um, I, I'm not saying I'm not trying to say that I, I'm perfect. I'm like Miss Pastor Mike. No, I'm nowhere near there. But I know I will get there. I have my goals that I've set for myself. In fact, for me, my, my goal is on, is, on, is, on, is, on, is in my bedroom, you know, on, 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 my, on my head, where I sleep. Every day I see it there, I've written it down. You know, so it, it's just to tell us that you don't just wake up. It starts from you. If you, must be, a leader, if you must be a leader, one of the major responsibilities is actually to attend the lectures, the presentation, even if you've heard it before. Because there are a lot of things that I said that people still keep asking on this group. And I keep wondering, did we actually attend that lecture? Did we understand it? Have we actually, actually taken our time? Even the time we, uh, during our presentations, there is a particular slide there that says, if you want to learn more, if you want to know how to grow the business, if you want to go to um, cfxpartinside.com. Have you, has we actually taken our time to go there and check out the things that are there and see how, what are the, what's in the offering for us? You know, the first slide, in um, one of our presentations tells us that cash FX leverages on two trending industries for now. And that is the e-learning and the financial um, market. And yet people are asking, how can we have physical meeting? When we are told, the first thing you are told as we are joining during that meeting is that cash FX is leveraging on e-learning. Everything they are doing is electronics. And yet we are also asking cash FX to have office and give us a physical meeting. Thanks to Pastor Mike that in Nigeria, he has, he's gracious enough to be arranging that by himself because of the environment where people want to see people physically. But man, the policy, the company's um, system is to leverage on the e-learning industry. So having said that at the first time, you shouldn't be asking of offices anymore because they tell you that that is what they are working with. So it's either you are accepting it or you come to their office, which is their global office. Those are the things that we need to actually um, check out and be sure that, yes, we are ready for this. And in that e-learning, if you actually agree and say, yes, I accept that I will take advantage of the e-learning, there is nothing on the cash, cash that you want to know about cash effects that you would, that, that you, I'm not, I don't know if Pastor Mike has gone to uh, uh, Panama before, but it is through e-learning. If I must, if I must, even if he went, he, they couldn't have taught him all what he learned overnight. He must have learned it by hard work, studying, following the back office, following all the available info information. I, I'm sure he's not a magician. He's not. Uh, I'm sure he must be a Nigerian. He's, he didn't come from the so he's like one of us. So it takes time, commitment, and energy. You know, you need to spend something. For me, I've given myself. At least three, four years to build this business because I know I'm in it full time, bumper to bumper, head on. That's my own mindset. So whatever information I need to, I, I get, I read it. So long as it is from a, re, a reliable source of uh, cash effects, I try to read it and I try to take advantage of the business opportunity. So um, I want to just employ us here. Yes, why the uh, mentorship program is coming up? I don't know the modalities and how it's going to um, work. But I think um, that a lot of it has to actually come from us. Um, if I were Pastor Mike, one of the things that will even be criteria that we use is even your attendance in meetings. Because a leader, someone who is supposed to be a leader, shouldn't be absent in meetings. And what are the meetings? The meetings are even our daily presentations and not just our leadership meetings. Because if you want to be a leader, you are bringing in someone. Someone will ask him, how do I get started? How do I? 
but there is a presentation that tells you about the bull and the, uh, he even has gone further to tell us the first thing that you need to even do is to even get to bring in your family that's even to get out to the best way to get started so um, I, I just want to encourage us guys uh, let me not take so much that, time. That, 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 thank you uh, mr mr oh, sam you, you are really uh, uh, and, uh you know coming to this business and i hope god will help us and take us to that place yeah. like, yeah, Th thank you so much, Mr. Sam. You 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 know um about uh, uh, leveraging the, the system and looking at uh, uh, one's years of experience. You know, I said something when I was teaching. I said there are two ways to achieve success. You we have the hard way where you have to struggle everything by yourself. No mentor. You you rise. You fall. You rise. You fall. You rise. You know. There are a lot of these who, who uh, a lot of people that are actually doing that in this world. That is the picture of their life. They just figure out how to do things by themselves. They fail several times and many, many years before they succeed. But there are some smart guys who just decide what, what they want to do and they leverage a mentor and they achieve that success in a shorter period. Like KJFS is a, is a very wonderful business. Most of the people that are in London K Club, do you know that we have almost half of them that have never done network marketing before? Yeah. Yeah. They have never done. I mean, there is one woman, Ezu. Yes, Ezu yeah. has never, never done network marketing before. And she said, all I did was sharing it on Facebook. And she was able to hit 100K. Today, Ezu is a manager. So we are, we are privileged that KJVS system even supports a lot of people that have never done network marketing before uh, and to achieve great super success. Because the system works. The only area is this. How you do anything is how you do everything. Yeah. How you do anything is how you do everything. And that's why even in choosing people that uh, will be mentored, we have to know them. What have they done before? You know, we have to look at certain criteria. Because let me tell you, a lazy man will still be a lazy man. So how you do anything is how you do everything. If the system works. Yes, we are not saying that you cannot achieve. What is important to me is a desire. Once you have that desire and you are willing to commit, I mean, you can achieve whatsoever you want. So we're going to come up with whatever criteria we want to use. Then everybody will, will see it and know it. And then we'll put the, uh, the whole thing on the table. And then from there, we are good to go. The most important thing is, if you want to be a winner, you must step into leadership. You must be ready to take 100% responsibility. And then your mentor is also there to lift up your hand. You can get to where you want to go if you can actually commit yourself. So I think that's where we're going to stop the leadership meeting. I'm going to switch to presentation. Uh, straight, thank, thank, thank God we have um, uh, Mr. Sam here. Uh, I don't know whether I have Pastor Tadios in the house this morning. You know, some people are in the camp, some people are you know, this is a festive season. So I'm going to bring Mr. Sam in, let him take us on the first part of this uh, presentation. Then I'll take the second part. So we're going to go to presentation proper now. So I'm going to share that slide. So um, thank you so much, everyone. And we've been live on YouTube and I'm going to stop the live stream now. So.